everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Going Under. I'm doing this intro post because I didn't say anything for the first, like, 30 seconds, and I'm not really sure why. So here you go. I guess I just really got into the zone for some reason, or I don't know. I guess the start of every run's kind of rough, because you don't always start with good weapons, and that's actually kind of hard to work around. Not doing so hot here. Okay. Well, I'm succeeding in this whole destroy laptops business. I wish there was kind of more of a build feel to this game. It feels kind of Binding of Isaac -y, but I don't often feel like I really have a build going. Just stack a bunch of weird shit and maybe win. Okay. Grab the poker. I don't care too much. Uh, bah. Let's take a look at the shop, see what we get. Okay. We get that, don't care. Deal damage briefly at the start of battle. Useful. Oh, shoot. I think that goes stale if I leave it there, so I, I probably should have waited until I was a little bit lower on HP. Well. This is... I said I'm decent at this area. I'm apparently not. Okay. Ow, what? How the hell did he even hit me? He's got like... I... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna accept death here. There we go. Let's try this again. I... Delivery for Jacqueline. Let's see. Can we do one more? I could talk to all these characters, but that really didn't feel like much of a run, so let's just keep going down. Yeah, the five star jobs are tough. Okay. Let's see what we get. Can't pick up the this. Okay, foam finger it is. I don't think I actually hit him. Break this? Nope. I mean, yes. You know, the sad thing is, I almost feel like a punching build could work. Because you don't get the, uh... You don't get the stun or the knockback. But you can be pretty quick about it. Probably ain't worth it. Okay, he's gone. Joblin squad. Hell yeah, Joblin squad. Get him, Joblin. Oh, shoot. I just chucked him into the fire immediately. Oh, that's one of the weak ones. Well, he ain't gonna last. I feel like Joblin squad might be best. Okay. Hit harder, less money. Nah, double damage briefly at the start of battle. Especially if I can get a couple of damage ups, I think I'll be okay. Ow. No. Got it. All right, we got the winged. Okay, that's fine. Hello? Oh, it's this this again.
Okay, got him. Five started. Satisfaction guaranteed. Okay, so far so good. We get a rifle. Seems interesting. And we have a peach. Puts me back at full health. Alright, that could have gotten worse. Grab people person. I guess let's see what Swamp gives us. Because I was kind of hoping for the health up. But oh well. Okay. Well, don't have anything else. Ooh. Okay, the rifle actually seems pretty great. Not much damage. Ooh, the axe. Remember to leave a rating. I'll take it. Not the best, but I'll take it. All right, down we go. All right, save the rifle maybe for something else. Use the axe? I don't know. It's like, I want to hold on to some of this stuff and actually use it longer, but... Okay, got anything else in here? Well, I just burned friend, friend boy to death. Uh, I guess I should probably use the hockey stick, at least for a little while. Breaking laptop. Gotta remember to keep doing that. Okay, what else do I have? Go oh, ahead. Okay, there there we go. She down? She down. And my joblin's fine. I like the joblin squad. Alright. Check the shop. Probably don't want to do anything with Beb yet. What is this? Penny Puncher. I like Penny Puncher. But we'll wait until I'm hurt. Ow. Okay, don't get torched. Gosh, he is aggressive. I like him. He's also really stupid. And will burn himself to death. Okay, so rolling over items picks them up. I think we kind of established that earlier, but I had butterfingers at the time. Alright. Upcycle the axe. Upcycle the rifle. I like that. I... Hmm. Let's go this way. Ow. Got it. Alright, we're good. So what's this one? Where's that? We don't need it. Not yet. I'll use it if I had to. Have to. There's a Butterfingers I can live with. Extra health. Conflict resolver and tube you. Well, I guess I'll just wear Zap. We've already done it. No clue what tube you does. Or when they need a distraction. I see. Boy, howdy. Stuff happens. Alright, we get a paper ream. Well, better cube. Piece of diamonds. I'll take it. There's also a low hanging fruit. Gross.
Okay. Dang. Got him. Satisfaction. Yeah, luckily those fire traps do a lot of damage. It's just a matter of outlasting them after a while. We've got any other laptops in here. I'm sure I've been missing them. Yeah, so I still have that. Okay, let's go back shopping. Gosh, they're doing that squeaky mattress thing in the background. That's what it is. Oh, I don't like it. All right, I got 80. So let's grab Penny Puncher and up my HP. I guess we should probably talk. Whoa, that's weird effect. What can you tell me about the boss here? Uh, what can't I tell you? Massive creep, huge ego, kind of hands-on if you catch my drift. Yikes. Seems to be the common theme with the, mo the monster. Uh, I mean the mo employees down here. You bet your booty. You want my advice on? Turn right back the other way and forget about meeting the boss. I really wish that were an option. This is... Oh, hey. Oh, that's a broom? Looked like a pitchfork to me. Alright, well, here we go. I got a decent chunk of HP. Feels good to me. What's that? Fire starter. Interesting. Grab this one. Right. I grab the hockey stick. Oh, they will they'll hit each other. Good stuff. Got her. A good ace of diamonds. Have a great day. And we get clapback. Again. I'll take it. Alright, I'll get back into this. There's a moment there on the last run where I was just kind of super not into it, but I, I think the really the trick is you gotta learn the enemy patterns. I mean go figure. And once you got that, it actually gets so much easier. It's just that initial... How does this even work? There we go. Joblin Squad. Hell yeah. I don't see any laptops. We do have this, though. Let's go for the low chance to heal. I'd like to move and attack faster, but healing is so much more valuable. Okay. There we go. Ooh. Another trident. Good stuff. Right, let's check the shop. I think we could take everything. Alright, got the toast. I don't actually know if I need the all all your thrown items are homing, so let's just uh, save up for the maximum health up. That seems more helpful anyway. Ah, oh, it's one of these. Alright. Ow. Oh, that didn't work. Package delivered. Returning to base. Your back. Ooh, got another axe. Alright. Battle fan. Got some other stuff. Nope. Ow. Okay. We are definitely regaining a lot of HP. Or no, no, no. We got the avocado toast.
All right, there we go. Ooh, discount. Got it. Put out the fire. Grab the discount. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll go take it back. I'm not too hot. I'm not too injured. Probably should have actually gotten the... Eh, I don't throw items enough anyway. To justify it. Hey, there's another battle axe over there. But, yeah. Ow. Okay. Didn't hit me. Well, this whole retaliatory thing is actually working out really well for me. Stay away from the explosives. Dang. Uh, let's see. Grab a fire extinguisher. Yeah, I'm good to go. I think it was actually close to done. Winkybus. Oh, that's a name. Okay, didn't work. Didn't work still. Crit and ghosted. You suck. That didn't work. There we go. Got it. And we get a discount for the next floor. Works for me. Delivery for Jacqueline. I don't think I really care for this one. It is what it is. All right. Then we go. I figured we'd be at the end, but no. This one's taking a little while. I wonder if the final dungeon is that. Oh. Final dungeon. Or final level, at least. retaliatory break the laptop so I gotta break one more uh sure about as good as I'm gonna be able to get it let's see if we got a laptop in here anyway time for oh boy hover hands narcissism normalized oh no It didn't work. It bugged out weird. Okay, we can do a bunch of damage to him, and I've got a lot of HP. Okay, where's the other hand? There it is. So actually, me hitting things with my fist is incredibly strong. <laughs> oh, I tried getting away from that one. Ain't working right. Okay. So far, so good. Oops. Me. 
Ah, uh, happened again. All right, there we go. We got him. Yeah, just a ton of HP and apparently boxing gloves. Tom, kid, why you gotta kill all vibes like this, blub? What vibes are you even talking about? Is this the part where your office looks like a mix between a nightclub and a boogie yard sale? Or is the vibe forcing all your workers into ridiculous outfits? Nobody forced anyone on them, just highly encouraged. They're expressing themselves, blurb blurb. A brain-dead NPC like you could never understand. You will repeat what society tells you. You may have won this fight, but Winky Dink stands for a pure idea, blurb. And ideas are sword-proof. Toxic Mask. Facade to hide one's true nature. Permanently increase your max health. Well, I'm definitely getting some more stuff. I want those ladders in real life. That'd be cool. That goes Dungeoneering, Jackie. Tiring. Painful. You know, the usual. I got your cursed thing or whatever. Do I even need to ask what this one does? Only if you like productivity! The relic is known as the Toxic Mask. The story goes that Winky Dink Incorporated was plagued by constant workplace violations and inappropriate behavior. And employee morale was plummeting. But after the creation of this arcane mask, HR complaints were immediately reduced by 100%. They'd say its haunting gaze encouraged workers to stay at their best behavior. Nothing about demons da the demons down there screams best behavior to me. You sure there isn't another explanation for why HR stopped getting complaints? Sorry, Jackie. Couldn't hear you. Over the sound of workplace inclusivity. How do you feel now? Empowered to do your best? What's this feeling? I want to voice my concerns about the relics, but the words won't come out. It's like something's stopping me. I feel great. Never better. Super comfortable with all this. Yep. Got any more haunted crap for me to get? The more that the attitude around here is already so much more pleasant. There's one relic left at the bottom of the final startup. Keep up the good work, Jackie. We're on our way to doing great things. I know it. Duh. So, uh, anyone want to tell me what we're all doing in Ray's office? I generally only set foot in here to get shot at by Ray or vice versa. Such a large office. It fills me with inspiration and yet also envy and contempt. Would that I could have captured this emotion and a flavor. Everyone give your attention to Ray, please. I didn't bring you all up here for the view. Yikes, what crawled up Marv's button down today? I know, right? Welcome to my office squad. I figured this might be a nicer place to drop some important news on y'all. Also, didn't want to walk all the way downstairs. Think I sprained something doing hot yoga. Sounds hot. Now, there's some good news and some bad news. Good news is you're all freaking awesome. Give yourselves a pat on the back from me. Yo, Avi, give him the bad news. As is common knowledge, the soft launch of Fisco, or soft launch of Fisco, occurred at 10 a.m. yesterday morning. Many of our key MVP features were absent, and the app also experienced major stability issues. Since then, Fisco has failed to meet a single one of our KPIs, including ROI, ROR, ROE, TLA, and GMO. I don't understand a word of this. They're saying we suck, Fern. More specifically, they're saying my team sucks. Yo, Avi, maybe we would have had the features done if they weren't completely insane. Ask Marv how an app could possibly measure how much fizzle someone drinks, and his response was, maybe something with nanobots. Wait, that's a great idea, though. Kara, be nice. I'm sure Avi worked really hard on their pre presentation. Avi doesn't work hard on anything. She's an algorithm, you brainless- Kara! Ah. Are you finished, Kara? Yo, Avi, continue, please. I've outlined two major minor changes to Fizzle's product that will increase the app's user retention and save the project with a clutchness index of over 4.3. One, a new design for Fizzle cans that will require user registration and use of the app in order to open. Two, a new series of Fizzle 2.0 flavors that will be designed via designed and produced via machine learning based on user data get, gathered from Fizzgo. Hold on a moment. I want to understand that Avi is essentially replacing me as senior, fla senior flavorist, then. Don't be alarmed, Fern Fernand. Fernand. Fernard. What? 
As the flavorist, you will have full control over the flavor algorithm's weight parameters, allowing you to manipulate the neural network to your whim. I don't know what those words mean! My passion is for creating flavor, not fiddling with computer knobs. You can't let them do this, Raymond. What Avi's trying to say is that people are drinking less and less fizzle. We need some big brain flavor ideas to shake things up and get the kids fizzling again. And no one's got a bigger brain than, than the smart office. So why not give it a crack at designing some flavors of its own? Uh, you made me a promise. You changed, Ray. Don't worry, y'all. I'm sure he'll, he'll come around. Keep up the good work, everyone. We've had some setbacks, but I know these changes are going to be great for us. This company is evil. Now what I really need is the one that makes it so I heal. Big boss. Laptop. Aw, oh, that doesn't count for the quest. But I did destroy his laptop. So, justified. Okay. Well, we got one more curse artifact to find, at least. Have you noticed anything different since that weird mask got installed? Different how? Well, I was drinking bubble tea at my desk like I usually do, then Ray walked up to me and just took a huge sip without even asking permission. And he said one snack to another and then walked away. What's that even mean? I don't know. I was honestly too confused to be offended. Not only that, but I felt that mask just staring at me from over by the fountain. I felt my skin crawl. Like, if I spoke out about the feeling about feeling uncomfortable, something terrible might happen. I feel like I know what you mean. I really hope Marv knows what he's doing here. I feel like Marv's just gonna curse the hell out of this place so he can take over. You know, I'm not really much into dating apps, or dating in general. I'm more of a loiter at the computer store and put stupid memes as the wallpapers of all the display models kind of guy. I mean, that sounds kind of like a date to me. Just kind of a weird one. Any luck with the demons? Not really. There's a lot of the a lot of fire down there. Can I get a special suit or something? Don't be ridiculous, Jackie. We're on a shoestring budget here. Try to be a little bit more considerate of everyone at the company. We've all got our own challenges to deal with. Great advice, Marv. Okay. I... Whoops. Sorry. Young lady, you reek of bat guado, guado and silicon chips. Well, I've been down in a mine shaft filled with massive PCs, so that would make sense. Ah, oh, the all-encompassing underground. So gorgeous. And it feels like it might swallow you up and consume you at any moment. Exhilarating, isn't it? I haven't had time to appreciate the beauty, sorry. I've mostly just been beating the crap out of skeletons. But to the bone, eh? I've got just the flavor of fizzle for you. How does a refreshing can of barbecue espresso sound to you? I think I'll take my chances with the skeletons, thanks. Do it yourself. Okay, so we've only got one left. Okay, we already did Winky Dink. It's this one over here. Uh, this one. Sticks coin. Well, my maximum HP went up, so that's a good sign. Pin skill, what do we got? The one I want most is Bloodsucker. Getting Bloodsucker would save me a ton of money. First crit against an enemy will earn you a bu buck or two. I think I'm gonna go for Penny Puncher. Anything that gets me money is good. Pugilist actually was quite good too, but we'll see. 